All right, so Colin has arrived back again today and he's going to be putting the lights up in the back shed, but I'm not sure how much he'll get done because he needs to put wires in for a start and then hang the lights and that. So at the moment, I'm just going to give this Manitou a good wash. Louise has been busy hosing out and cleaning up this calf shed as well. So it's all disinfected and ready to go as well. So got a couple of calves, one anyway started in here a couple in the back because they were born together at the same time so they got flung in there but before we got this and now we've got the odd one in and then we'll start feeding them in here and they'll get a they're going to get colostrum and this other is it transition type type stuff so that'll help them on and then you can decide what ones are getting it and what's not getting it for a while and then let them into the big pen at the back and feed them over there with the titty bar and then when that pen's full start the same process again over here so that's what Louise is going to be trying to do but for now I'm going to clean this up because it's well I'm, the windows are gubbed can't really see much and well it's just getting to that stage it's needing a wee clean um, and then later on I'll go see how Colin's getting on and what not, and we've got a load of feeding arrived in the now for the uh, calves, a load of cake going in that big shed there, the old barn, so, aye, plenty going on again. <laughs> Whoever invented the turbo nozzle is a legend. <laughs> that didn't take nearly as long as it should have. <laughs> now I'm going to see all my missed bits when it dries off, but it's a big difference from what it was anyway, so that is the main thing. So, I'm not really sure what's on for the rest of the day, but I'm sure I'll find something to do, but I'll catch up with Colin at some point, see how he's doing with the shed out the back. Uh, um, get the light switches put in and whatnot. Bro, get the fire them all swinging and dancing, all snazzy. It's all snobby now, you know. It's not what I'm used to. This is just going to be bliss. <laughs> oh, it's just the little things, isn't it? <laughs> well, Shake walked past and he's asking, oh, you selling that one? Have you got a new one coming? I was like, no. <laughs> Cheeky, because he never sees these things getting cleaned up, you know. <laughs> so my day has taken a turn. Somehow I've ended up dropping off my old set of Cambridge rollers and uh, picked up these and I've come down here because the header trailer is sitting with its thing in the sky and I want to try and get it in here to where Dad can hitch up the header onto the trailer so they can take it home. Um, but I somehow we've ended up acquiring these. So these are maybe slightly shorter but they're in really good nick. So hopefully that'll be better next year for all the spring stuff. Just slightly narrower but uh, Aye, it'll be bra for the jobs. Some steam coming off of this. It's not hot, so it's maybe just the sun evaporating the water. <laughs> Going along the road at 50k might not have been the best idea, but that should be fine. <laughs> but I know I'll get him some point soon and uh, see what the crack is with these lights. Uh, but well, if it's dark, it'll be good because the lights will be there. So <laughs> right, three hitched up. Just need to pressure it up again and. 
Now I have to put the combine header on the trailer that I've brought in the field and then that means that when Dad comes down I'll try and get the trailer reversed and onto the combine eh, the combine reversed into the trailer, sorry and uh, that means that when Dad comes down he can hitch the combine up and drive away straight away and take it home, put it in the shed and that'll be it for the winter raw so he was down earlier so boosting the battery and i think it was running so hopefully she's going to start oh <laughs> he must have done it right then Right, let's get this on the trailer. Of course, it might help if I took the PT off first and took the pins out and the oil pipes. Right, let's get this header off. Right, that's the header off. That's a difficult part to turn. We've got the pins in there. So that's holding on to the trailer. Um, so, now to try and get it on the, the tow hitch. Before it gets dark. Right. Absolutely, maybe a gauge in how well I'm going to do with this, so let's just see, shall we? Kind of in line now. Uh, let's see. One, two, roughly three feet. Right. Don't know how to. Let's have a look. <laughs> Reverse past it a little bit because I couldn't see it. There's there. Right, let's have a look and see how I go on. Ah, bugger it! Oh, so close this time, right. Third time's a try. I felt it hit it. I felt it hit it. Now it's rolling away. It's not fair. Dad just arrived, so I'll get him to reverse it back a bit. Good seek. Right, he's here. I've got the pin in, it just needs to drop right through, so I just need to go back a little bit. Right. That was him shouting, so that must be it. Took a long time to get him. Ended up doing other things. And uh, now we're... Why is that tied? That's never tied. There's never a string there. <laughs> so I've just missed all three lights on. There's to be another one put in up there. But one's on the now for a night light, but there should be two on for a night light. And then uh, the rest will come on uh, before uh, earlier on in the day, but aye, these are the best lights we've ever had. So I'm just going to go in here and have a look at the other shed and uh, sort all that out. Have a look at the switches they've put in and see how they all work. So that's all been sorted. They're now all on switches, whereas yesterday. They were all on and then they were only put on for night lights for the evening because the, I think the fuse couldn't handle it, but because it's been sorted now, you can now put all of the lights on. A couple of cows bowling here causing a ruckus. See how that, are they that excited about having lights? That might be more the case. They might be excited about being able to see <laughs> Aye, fantastic. So this is the nighttime situation. Two lights on. Later on at night, switch them off. 
switch it down to these two after checking them at night. But I'm just going to put them on fully there now. Cows are acting a bit daft at the moment. Just uh, had to help Dad throw a calf around there as well. Uh, calf wasn't breathing, he phoned me, so we need a hand to throw it about. Hang it over a gate, try and get the fluids out of it, and then just sling it back forward a few times. And now it's breathing, it's away again. Thought we were going to lose it, so good. switches, big main light. Jesus. And then the one for the straw lot. That's the old dairy in there. The old parlour. <laughs> Can't wait to other sheds like that as well. That'll be bro. Clean Manitou in a bright shed. Today has been good. <laughs>